Hey everybody, it's me Edward Jones, back to a new video, and uh, me and my friend Brian, right now we're just, we're walking uh, to the supermarket, just to get us, just to get, you know, an idea, to see how people are reacting right now, right now we're in Columbia, South Carolina, and as you can see, it's not, it's not snow, this is all ice. how thick that is. That's night. Right now we're just walking uh, just to see what people are buying. We went to one store that's close to our place. One thing we noticed we see a lot of people buying beer. <laughs> I don't know what it is about beer and cold weather, but it's just something that people gravitate towards. But uh, I'm a, I'm a, I think I'll continue this video inside just to show you, uh, just to talk about some of the things we saw. I'm going to talk about the supermarket. Right now, local office depot is closed. Says, uh, due to inclement weather, we'll reopen Thursday. Today is Wednesday. See, uh, as you see out there, there's an ambulance uh, parked right across from Waffle House. Let's keep walking. But yeah, it's nuts out here. Uh, it doesn't even look like the grocery store is open. Some people that are enjoying themselves in the trucks. I was out here driving earlier uh, with Brian. So, you know, we had ourselves a fun time. We got good use of four wheel drive. So keep walking. Another place, a pet store, closed on the 12th, for the safety of employees. Yup! <laughs> As I suspected. Close. What that tells me is if you're in an area where it's, there's not used to getting bad, not used to getting bad weather like this. Yeah, that kind of weather. No matter where it's real hot, no one's gonna want to come into work. That's one. That's that's a uh, one big indicator as to why it's important to have your uh, have your prep set up. You know, because uh, if you don't, I mean, you try to wait for the day that something actually happens, either st uh, shelves be bare, or in this case, the store's closed because no one wants to travel out in this in this weather. Like I said before. In Columbia, South Carolina. Can you believe that? Well, I can. In fact, the last time it snowed, uh, not counting the time it snowed earlier this month, it actually snowed about uh, roughly four years ago. I got the same snow shovel from that time. I didn't throw it out. So it shows that it's important to keep certain tools on hand. You never know what comes up. I'm going to head back, I'm going to finish this video and make inside. So, I'm going to cut the camera off for a second. <sighs> back inside. Um, I've been inside for almost an hour. Um, just share with you some of the things that I've seen um, concerning the weather. Oh, by the way, I hope, uh, um, if you have trouble hearing what I'm saying, I talk low. Well. Um, I guess I would encourage, uh, you know, cranking up, <laughs> cranking up your computer. I mean, I'll try to talk. Uh, in a loud tone, well, in a louder tone. So, uh, I woke up around one o'clock because because um, the day before I was told that you know work's gonna be closed, so I got a chance to sleep in. And when I looked at the window. I saw, you know, I saw what you saw in the video earlier. Ice. Oh, well, I thought it was snow, but then I went outside. and said, This is ice. So what I started doing was I started digging up the, trying to dig up some of the uh, ice that was around the truck and also around the walkway. I uh, got my friends to help me dig up the dig up the driveway and uh, throw more salt out. Now, I bought a 50 pound bag of salt two days ago. They had, this, they had it at Food Line for I think it was 6.99. They were out. They were all out of, uh, the, of the 10 pound bags, which were about 2.99. But actually, the thing the funny thing is, I went to it was this. I went to uh, I went to, I went to the supermarket just to get a sales paper. 
And I saw people scrambling all over the place. You know, I figured it was, I guess it was, you know, I guess people thought the storm was going to be real bad. So I said, well, let me, uh, let me pick up a few things. I got some meat and I got some bread. Pretty, I pretty much got stuff to make sandwiches. Um, you know, nothing, nothing, uh, nothing fantastic. Then, uh, I went to the salt, I went to the area they keep a lot of salt, and I saw they were all out of the 10-pound bags. And I saw the guy with the cart, and he had, you know, 50-pound bags. So I asked, you know, oh, are you smaller bags? He said, yeah, but we're all out of those. We won't get those in until maybe tomorrow. So I decided, you know what, I'll, I'll buy a 50-pound bag today. A 50-pound bag two days ago became very useful today. Uh, I had to use it. Uh, yesterday I, used, I poured some of the salt on my windows, on my truck windows. And I poured some on the walkway. When I got outside, it was slush, so we, you know, we got went, got to working on the on the slush that was on the on the, on the porch, at least on um, the walkway, at least to our door, and you know, salted more more of the area where people walk. I couldn't get the truck up the hill because of the ice. The ice was thick. Uh, it was about uh, I'd say about a, it was about an inch layer of ice around the tires. So I tried backing out in two wheel drive, the truck wouldn't move. So I had to get out, lock the hubs, put it in full uh put in four wheel drive. I had it in low, put it in low gear and I was able to crawl out. I saw a lot of people um struggling to get their cars up hills. Some people they sh there are some people who shouldn't they shouldn't have their vehicles out on the road in the first place because uh, they weren't properly equipped. Which, you know, and it's I think it's a, I think it kind of uh, answers the mystery as to why rednecks buy pickup trucks, you know, for you know, cases of stuff like this. I've been called a redneck since high school, so I guess it's, it's fitting that I have a pickup truck. And anyway, uh, me and our friends, we drove around. Um, you know, it was a lot of, you know, we had to drive, I drove in four wheel drive in the street. It was a bit more difficult than it was when it was snowing, because the roads were much, were, were much slicker than, the la than, than before so much it was a whole lot of ice. So the highest speed I was able to drive my truck in four wheel drive and the high gear was um, I think the highest I went was like twenty five miles an hour. Uh, I drove to one of my jobs, so the manager was there, we chatted for a bit, turned back around, drove uh and I let him let my I let my buddy in the cab know I'm going down the hill so just just you know just brace yourself in case something happens. The truck in neutral usually it uh Usually it rolls on the hill fine, but I guess with the four wheel drive still activated, it it kind of rolls slower. We went to uh, went to Walgreens um, close by, and you know there were people. This is crazy. I didn't I didn't know beer was such a hot commodity when it when it came to cold weather. I saw people I saw people going picking up beer from the stores every which way, and uh, you know, we went in there. We chatted for a bit with some of the, with some of the people that worked there, and. I mean, if there was anything else needed at the house, I know um, I know some people that try to take they, they'll, they'll take advantage of what can be gotten at the last minute. But I mean, to me, I, could, was, I couldn't see anything else I, I needed, so I went ahead and bought some uh, some candy. I bought <laughs> bought three packs of gummy worms. Well, I got two packs of gummy worms and a pack of gummy bears. And you know, we uh, um, after we got that stuff, we dropped back off to the house. And then that's when I started making the video where we were walking towards the store. You know, you saw the, so I think the high ice was. You saw the truck driving around and <laughs> doing donuts in the parking lot. Um, and then you also saw the, you know, the stores were closed. So with that's to me that's an indicator that you know if if you send something's gonna happen, your best bet is to get get things early. Not and it's not because you think that if you try to get it the day of, um, that things will be gone. In this case, the store wasn't open. Uh, the only place it was really open was Walgreens. Maybe CVS was open, which is a couple blocks away. But uh, there were some restaurants that were open, others that were closed, and you know we, we you know hooked it there and came back. I stopped off at my neighbor across the street to see how they were doing. Um, you know, she told me she was doing all right. Uh, said her husband, uh, who's a friend of mine, he was you know, he wasn't feeling too well. He was you know in the bed sick. So I told him. I hope he feels better. And you know, we got back to the house, and I got in, took my sh uh, sat around. My feet weren't getting colder because my boots were, were wet on the outside. And you can see these are the boots I wear. And it's not well, it wasn't wet on the inside; it was cold. So I took off took off my old socks, which were 
And these are wool socks, but they're thin. Um, I put these on. I'll take them off and show you. It's a bit thicker sock. These are real comfortable. I wore them when it was hot outside. You know, they've just been that comfortable for my feet. Since I'm always, since I'm always wearing boots. Saw some people sledding. <laughs> Saw one guy getting pulled downhill by a truck while he was on skis. Hopefully that turned out well. I saw it. Me and our friends saw it as we were going up the hill. We saw the truck coming down the, down the hill. This guy was getting towed behind on skis. So I just saw some things like that. Uh, the main road is double lane. We were driving in the. We we were uh, in the middle. Of the, we were in the middle of the two lanes because. You know, the traffic was there was virtually no traffic, and you couldn't. I I couldn't tell where the where the white line where the white lines were. So I, I, I had an idea as to where I should keep the truck. Plus the truck's wide enough, so it's it's kind of hard sometimes keep it in one lane. Sometimes, sometimes I do have to edge over in, the, in a, a little bit in another lane if there's if there's um some cars parked uh, at a, at an angle in the street. But uh yeah, I mean this is. This is what we're going through in, in Columbia, South Carolina so far. We're, uh, well, me and my friends are doing well. One of one of my buddies is sick, and so he's he's uh, staying indoors. He walked around for a bit just to get just to get out the house and see how things were. Um, oh, another thing. Uh, another one. Of the friend who was with me, he said uh, he said that was pretty. Said something, said something that was pretty interesting. I mean, my stammer. Um, he said it's a good thing he knows a, he knows someone who's a prepper. And we were in the truck leaving Walgreens when he said that, and I looked at him and I said, you know, don't t don't try to take advantage of that. Meaning, you know, don't get too comfortable with that idea. You know, it, it's um, I, ha I got I got him out the house to help me with uh, breaking up the ice outside. So, you know, like I said before in another video, there's some people I would take in, but no free rides. You know, there there will be work to do if, if it's out there. And I hope, I hope other people out there keep that in mind, that they know that people like that. Uh, I mean, I guess, you know, I took them along for the ride. Plus, we lived together, so I didn't see, I didn't see any sense in you know, going up by myself. But, uh, but he said he understood, you know, he, he didn't want to make it seem like he was taking advantage of, um, of the stuff I did. I guess it's, it's more or less, just, it, it just naturally happens. Um, if anyone's with you, they're... More likely to receive some of the benefit of the work that you that you've done. It's not that they take, it's not that they're trying to take advantage of you. It just I guess it's just inevitable. Um, I, I, I try to be a stingy person, but also try not to be taken advantage of. So that's that. Please share me. Please uh, share your experiences. Are you uh, how are you faring in this weather? If those of you who live up north, I, I hope you're doing well. Um, for those of you who live in the south, like I do. Stay warm as best you can. Try to get adjusted. I uh, hope you got plenty of salt. Um, if you if you have electricity, I'm not sure if this ice storm is going to be worse. I think it's a good idea for you to have some propane, or some wood, uh, something to keep yourself warm. Uh, please have enough hope. There are people out there who have enough food during these during this type of uh, during this type of weather. But that's my video. Uh, please uh, share your comments and thoughts. Uh, make a video response. Gripes, complaints, threaten to me. Let's please be civil to everyone else who watches the video. But that's it. I'm Edward Jones, and thanks for watching.